Okay. Hey guys! Alright, in this episode 3 yes. of Singapore Hawker Food, yep. we are here over at Chong Pang Market. Alright, we're going to be going over to Chong Pang Market Food Centre. Yes. And then let's see what they have. Huh? Alright, so let's not waste any time. Let's go eat! Today, I'll be having lontong from Haji Ali Cook Food. So why I want to eat this is because I saw that the queue is so long. Again, and I saw a lot of people buying lontong. So, here it is. Uh, inside the plate, there's a tahu, half tahu, and then boiled egg, kuah lontong, with a lot of vegetable inside, and then serunding, and also sambal tumis. So let's try the... Is it gravy? Gravy, right? It's supposed to be gravy, right? Yeah, it's gravy. Yeah. Let's try the gravy first. Mm. Okay. The gravy taste is a bit on a lighter side. I cannot taste the coconut so strong like punch like that, no. So it's still lemak but not so strong. Now let's mix all the surrounding with the sambal. I think this will taste better, guys. Okay, put the tahu inside along with the lontong. Mm. Definitely tastes better when you mix all the serunding, the sambal tumis inside. Mix everything, the vegetable, tahu, egg, big mouth. Mm. Mm. You know, usually <laughs> before for long term, they use a uh, jintan, jintan, right? Jintan, yeah. Yes, yeah, can taste. The jintan taste, the rempah taste also can taste. But not like so strong like that, no. Is good? You must tell them about the price. Oh yeah! <laughs> Surprisingly, it only cost $2.50. Yes! <laughs> wow! Well, I guess this is a perk of staying in, you know, old neighborhood houses. For base, it's still crunchy, the cabbage. Mm. It is the amount, the quantity good? Huh? Yes. The amount is good for $2.50. Okay, I like to do this. You take the, you know the egg yolk, right? And then you mash it. And then you mix it with the gravy, so it becomes thicker. Now... Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yummy! For my breakfast today, what I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna go with nasi rawon. Just a bit of history of nasi rawon. Nasi rawon is actually not easy to make. 
you need to get like you know a lot of different spices candle na ginger cafe lime leaf and the most important ingredient in there is actually buah keluar all right buah keluar is something that you know very dangerous because what happens is that you need to be you know good at cleaning it cooking it it takes a long time to make it become edible all right so a very typical nasi rawon you will see is that you will have on your plate uh, the sambal sotong all right and then you have got the cow's lung as well as the grated coconut surrounding and also bagadil this one the bagadil very cute you know i think this one, i think one mouth uh, i don't know which corner of my my stomach is gonna go into all right so what i love to do with nasi rawon is that i love to mix them okay right so that i can get that uh you know that good beefy broth uh, coating all the rice there we go ah just the rice alone bismillahirrahmanirrahim wow all right it's you you can taste that deep flavor from the spices and the beef you know the beef flavor is not like very very strong it's just underlying it and this is oh this is good now with the cow's lung nice soft no not chewy and let's see how the sambal goes huh? oh yes there go not too much not early in the morning i don't want to suffer the whole day oh yes <laughs> man i'm in heaven mm. wow the sambal blachan very nice you know the 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 sourness of it is good not too spicy just right for breakfast huh? oh. mm. told you the potato colored the burger is so cute yeah um god mm. oh. this is amazing and the best part that whole party on my plate nah, was only three dollars and fifty cents jaw dropping wow tempeh was good mm. only thing if let's say the Cuttlefish is a bit more softer, a bit more tender. It will be a lot nicer. But this is already good as it is. Good old traditional goodness. I think it's almost lunch time. So what happened is that we saw this mi bandung, uh, and I, <laughs> I have this uh, sort of like affection uh, or for mi bandung, uh, all right? Because I love the way how the gravy is going to stick onto the noodle, all right? And uh, I talk so much with it. Let's get to it, uh. Oh yes, one whole big bowl. 
can see that you know you have got the the squid all right there's squid in there as well as there's also prawns okay and then vegetable and the thing that i do not want to disturb at the moment uh, is this egg here all right the egg is actually being put in there uh, raw so that the gravy the heat from the gravy is gonna cook the egg all right now let's start oh. Oh. <laughs> Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> hot alert, hot alert. Oh. Oh. Okay. The gravy, alright, is spicy. Okay, and then you've got that uh, sort of like uh, tanginess to it, huh? a slight tanginess to it. The way how it's supposed to be. All right, and it is, oh, it is nice and thick. It coats the noodle very well. And one thing very important, uh, the noodle here doesn't have the alkaline taste. Uh. It's amazing. Because sometimes when you get yellow noodle, all right, and you get the alkaline taste, uh, it really puts you off. Uh. Mm. I'm going to break the egg now. All right. I'm going to let it mix oh, oh yeah oh oh now it's gonna become very very rich yeah oh oh this is making me feel so satisfied The amount is quite, quite substantial, uh. all right, in one bowl. I think since this is like the third item that we're eating, third item, right, Fajra? Yeah. yeah. So, I think I'm going to share this with her. La. I'm going to try the Mi Bandung since Dani claim it's, it is so good. So, let's taste it. Don't, don't <laughs> wow, the broth is so thick and so flavorful. It is also a bit of spicy, so it tastes just nice. And also the noodle has been coated along with the, the, the gravy. That's why it tastes even better. Mm. Mm. You can see how thick it is, you know. Mm. So, Fajra, Chong Pang, what do you think? <laughs> There's a wide variety of food, traditional yeah, exactly. food. So you can, you know, you can take a look, take around. Nah, take a look around. Take a look around. Yes, <laughs> take around. <laughs> take around. Okay, poor thing, la. she's carrying, carrying, you know, yeah, so my, my daughter, head. so cannot say anything. Yeah, my head Later also. she throw my daughter to me. <laughs> now, the thing is that when you come to one of these neighborhood uh, hawker centers, uh, yeah. I, I believe that you're going to find a lot of our local traditional food. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chong a lot of a lot of uh, variety that you can find. Yes. Okay, and I think today uh, our, favorite our favorite will be Mi Bandung. Exactly. From which shop? Uh, <laughs> no Name Makan House. Oh, okay, the yeah. No Name Makan <laughs> Yeah. House, not right. house, house. <laughs> house. Okay, so I think I think what happened is that you know uh, we we love it here. Yes. Especially the pricing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, the the the, the whole breakfast cost us like uh, wait let me see. Five fifty. Quick, quick math. Three fifty, two fifty, six dollars, six dollars, for seven five dollars, eleven dollars. So you got three items for eleven dollars and this huge two gigantic chin you know? for two dollars. Yeah. All right. So yeah, around if you're around, wow. yeah, if you're around, okay, come by, give them a try, give them support them. Yes. All right. So Fajira, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and follow us on Facebook, and Instagram. The links are all in the description below, and don't forget one last thing. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Click it, click it, see you. Bye.